as well about yeah. this talking point is you know right now as we currently speak nigerians are being sold for as little as 200 dollars in libya how did they get there they are they got there because they're trying to get to europe and they do this through creative means they use the mediterranean route to try and cross over there so but then that def that defeats his entire argument because if they believe that the mzungus are evil and all these things then they wouldn't be trying to you know they wouldn't be migrating so, to their so territories Sigma, what you're saying is uh, selling each other and themselves is so entrenched in their dna that they are doing it for free in the 21st century absolutely and this is this so, actually explains why wow. the barbaric culture let's in some parts of nigeria where, point. let's go back to your so, original point okay, you wait, said that do, what nigerians quickly. are doing bro, to your people remember this is a now is worse so, than what the muzungu bro, did to you can you listen, even hear yourself yes. Yes. No, 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 we no, gave you facts we gave you facts you see this and i'm going to give you facts and i'm going to I, I, at first, I thought these people were just delusional, but I, I'm also just like noticing an extremely low, like IQ level. Comprehension. So first yeah. of all, yeah, I, I mean, it's, yeah, this I is a technical is issue, you know. Uh, and stigma. Yeah, and he also misrepresented my 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 opening statement. I said earlier that some phobias, um, which is basically another term for fear, some phobias and some fears are actually justifiable if you take the nuance of it because if you mm. look at um for instance i made an example of the fear of snakes right um that is based on people's experiences and their encounters with snakes which have tended to be quite um dangerous mm. yes mm. so the mm. zeno thing, the thing mm. that is, yes. is also um on on our part quite justifiable because we have had encounters with these people we're not just uh casting aspersions on something that we don't know about we've lived mm. with them side by side since 1994 and we have mm. learned that they are not our brothers they're not our friends as a matter of fact i'll take it a step further and say they are enemies therefore that fear mm. that that zeno thing that they use a lot is perfectly justified how can you falsify they, they, this they, argument? I things. don't think it's possible. There, there, there are two things that I want to address on that point of uh, do we feel as though what uh, Abelungu have done here is worse than what Nigerians are doing? And my answer is absolutely yes, and I'll tell you why. Um, number one, it's the hypocrisy. And then number two, it is the fact that you're doing damage to people you identify with. So let me start with the hypocrisy. Uh, people want to come here on this panel like NC is doing and he wants to come here and say things like um, You guys need to be dealing with the Muzungu because they are the ones who are doing damage to your land and you know basically he's speaking from a perspective of uh, These guys have done damage to your land and therefore you need to chase them away as I'm assuming they have done in their own land Yet the funny part is Nigeria actually exports more people and churches than they do natural resources to other African countries uh, and so for me, I find it funny that Nigerians want to come here and talk about uh, South Africa still being run by uh, people from Europe, yet they are the ones who go to Europe more than any other African. So for me, it, it's actually very interesting because <laughs> you, you, you're at a place where you are complaining about South Africa still being under quote-unquote colonial rule, yet you not only chased away the colonizer, you then followed them. So I will not have it from you. You telling all me how South Africans need to treat all of them. Yeah, I also think you know they I mean? don't I, understand text. Sorry, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, 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 uh, to their countries. Yes, you kicked them out. Fantastic. Good for you. And look how your country has turned out. That's the first thing. Second thing, you then follow them to look for better opportunities. You guys always talk about the fact that South Africans don't travel as much. Do you know why they don't? Because they don't need to look for greener pastures when their own land is green. That is why we don't travel as much as you. You guys don't travel out of convenience. You travel out of survival. So that is yeah. why you guys follow the same people you kicked out. That is the first thing I want to address. The second is this. 
you want to come here and say, are you guys worse than uh, uh, the, the Europeans? I'll tell you why you guys are worse than Europeans. Europeans are Europeans. You guys are African. You should know better about our struggle. The mere fact, if a European were to sell powder here, for me, I'm at a position where it does it, is it something that I'm angry about? Yes. But I also understand that they're, they're not one of us. And as a result, I expect my enemy to treat me terribly. But when it comes from my African brother, and my African brother is the one who is hijacking buildings in my land, if my African brother is the one who is hijacking our cars, if my African brother is the one who is turning our sisters into prostitutes, if my own African brother is the one who is selling powder to my child, you are worse than the enemy. Because at least with the enemy, I do expect violence. But I do not expect violence from you who looks like me. So you cannot come here and sell blackness when it benefits you, yet you ignore the same blackness when it, when it no longer benefits you. You know what I mean? We cannot sit here and have you say things like, uh, what about Muzungu doing this? Yet you guys are doing it as well. You are just as bad as them. And what makes it worse is that I'm expecting you to relate to me more than they do. They already came here with, a, with an agenda. When we accepted you guys into our country, we thought we were building with our own brothers. Little did we know that we are bringing a snake to lay in bed with us. Therefore, we are angrier at you than we are with them. Because at least with them, they have opened up varsities in South Africa, they have opened up schools, they have opened up roads. South Africa has infrastructure that was built on that. Does it mean it was built? Does it mean, does it mean that that, in that uh, infrastructure was built uh, in convenient situations? 100% not. And that is why we fought them. That is why we are now going into the same universities that they built. And we are saying, decolonize the education system. That is why we had fees must fall. Because why is it that black South Africans can't afford the universities in their own land? Yes, you built them. Good for you. But we want to take them from the same Europeans. That is why we had fees must fall. That is why today, we no longer have student loans for guys who want to study at varsity. NSFAS is now not a loan. It's a grant. Because we fought them and we are at a place where we recognize that they built the infrastructure, but we are at a place where we are taking it back from them. That is why we have land that is owned by royal families. Ingonyama Trust in KZN owns a lot of land that was taken from the same Europeans. That is why we are in a position right now where conversations are had around land uh, expropriation without compensation. Why? Because we are in a position where we are taking back what is ours. However, we are doing that in the same place and taking it back from people who came here to colonize us. We already knew what their plans were. What makes it worse with you is that we thought we were welcoming a brother. Little did we know that we were welcoming an enemy. So I do not expect an enemy to act anything outside of destruction. But for my brother to do me badly, that for me is worse than treason. That is a betrayal that I can never forgive. So yes, you are worse than the colonizer because I didn't expect that from you. Can I speak now? Oh, you guys are going to keep muting me. We can, as long as you're going to answer everything we've said. Oh, so you don't want me to speak uh, my truth? No, Bro, speak, so, speak with just sense, talk. logic, just and, and retort I'm, to the I'm fact that it's been true. I am speaking with logic. I was always speak, speak. Uh, 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 uh. Don't, I started don't, don't, off... Don't give us... Don't give I us a whole off open speech. Say what, I, say. say what you want to say. Say what you want to say. Don't give us a speech from decorum. Give us your points. I started as responding to what Sigma had said when he came in here and defined Zeno. Then I used that as like a segue to expand on, on what if you said first encounter with an individual, then you start to look at every individual that look like that first encounter the same way. Shouldn't you be looking at the Muzungus? the same even the same way given what they've done to your country that is one what makes you think we don't what makes you think we don't no but but that, you that, know, that, 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 that was that not that was not his position the huge problem with uh west NC. africans mentally that was not his position can i continue so, please, 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 keep talking over me i'm gonna i'm gonna drop if you guys keep doing that no don't drop listen my g don't so, no, 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 no,
Yeah, we're not gonna, but you're not no, gonna let's help us him. With help, your help him get you, your intellectual the special. capacity. No, 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 no. He's not. No, no, no. He's not so, that special. He can't come here and say. Grow many you let me. No, wait. I know no, it's no, taking no, no, no. long for I him to no understand it. No, man, them Zungus have never beaten us. NC. No, Mr. Guga. Hey, Mr. Guga. I have no time to be. I have no time to be a grown man. You don't want me to speak. You cannot. This is like an echo chamber. Every time you hear different opposition, I'm happy. I'm happy to drop you. Drop the person. No, we don't get angry. Listen. Oh, no, because oh, oh, oh. You, no, you can't come. You can't come here and threaten us with dropping him. You, you're not my girlfriend. Now I must beg you. <laughs> no, he can go fuck himself. No, hundred percent. Oh, yeah. okay, he's lethal. He's not even. Like no, fuck this guy, man. Uh, uh, you're not gonna come here and threaten us with your presence. You're not. You're not. Tap F1. Tap F1. 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 Have beaten these guys, meaning we've given them harsher treatment. I think it's about time we become cognitively aware of the no. differences that exist between us and and all these West Africans guys. We need to take it seriously. Yeah, don't and, use, and, don't use, you know, don't I, use I, words I, that cognitively, they won't understand you. They, they won't understand that. And also you need to understand that, you know, the, the, they're creating a false equivalency and it's a talking point that they like to use in their platforms. Whenever you call them out, they will always bring up, bring up you know, um, the Europeans. And for, for, for your own information, if you are Nigerian listening to, listening to this, if you think that Europeans, because then if you create that kind of equivalency, then we have to look at um, both nationalities. We have to look at the Europeans and then we have to look at um, Nigerians and then determine who brings more value to our people. And now, I, I, just to mention a few, if you look at like uh, uh, companies like BP, right? I mean, it's a British oil company that it's European in every sense of the word and it employs thousands if not millions of our people you look at companies like Nestle it's a, it's a Dutch company that um, you look at um, you know they're, they're huge in terms of food and beverage you know production facilities around the country that employ so many of our people companies like Heineken that's a Dutch company as well you look at B BMW that's 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 a German company and all of these companies ultimately give our people the dignity of work and they're all European owned so the question then is if he creates that kind of dichotomy we then have to ask them name one Nigerian company that's bringing this level of value in terms of employment and um, you know and, and it is actually changing the lives of South Africans because then if, if he can't do that then his his argument fails because if you can't if you try and create that dichotomy you have to point out that therefore Nigerians are better uh, visitors in South Africa than Europeans but we don't see that and of course it's it's nonsensical they're not bringing any value here in fact they themselves are migrating to Europe to the same Europeans that they're trying to demonize and that's that's why like people like like that guy that was here what's his name M MC this level of IQ is just very difficult to engage with because there's no substance there. He's just literally regurgitating the talking points that they um, they say with his friends in, in, in these lives when they try to be defensive against South Africans. But there's no intellectual substance. That's why he's exactly, talking because it doesn't have Ayo, to... So Adebayo, please uh, name where you're from and where you're currently based, please. And then give us your submission. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, I'm from Nigeria and I've been listening to uh, every conversation that has been going on. Uh, my contribution is about some of the things I want us to understand. Hello, sorry, I was muted the whole time. I was muted, I was screaming, please unmute me. You didn't. What do you want to say? Okay, firstly, I greet everyone. Uh, I'm Wale, I'm from Nigeria and I'm based in Rambeck, Johannesburg. Okay. So, what I want to say, I I wish I wish NB was not was still online for to hear what I wanted to say. So I'm going to start by saying, every foreigner in South Africa should be grateful to our host, regardless of however we feel that we are being treated. Because I remember, and I'm going to say thank you to Sigma, you raised very, very valid point. I remember back home 
around like late 90s early 2000 when i was still in nigeria like i used to love south africa i used to love south africa i hello can can am i still on hello yes well we're, yeah we're listening bro we're listening yeah yeah, yeah thank you so uh, like I would listen to one gospel the whole time. I love the music. I love the culture. I love everything. So I came in here 20, 2011. I was very happy to be here. By the way, I'm a legit person. I do legit things. So I'm going to say the South Africa we have now is not the same South Africa we have we had back then. And it's not, I can, I can boldly say to all my brothers, and all foreigners here. I know they can, they, they're gonna come for me, but I can boldly say the problem we're having in South Africa now, 80 to 85% of the problems are from it's, us. Uh, Wale, Wale Da Vinci, one second, my brother, I'm so sorry for cutting you off. Can you just introduce your name, our country, from your clan, do you own land, do you have children, and your age? Then you can go ahead after that, please, so we can know who we're talking to and uh, we can see your point of view, my brother. Thank you okay uh my name is wale uh i'm nigerian i'm from rambeg and uh uh what do i need to say again what more do i need to say please try the online you have kids and your age no no my age i'm 45 and uh yeah i i don't have kids for now i'm 45. do you own land <laughs> My what? Do you own land? Do I own land? No, not yet. But I, I hope to own one soon. Okay, right. okay. Go, go ahead, ahead. Okay. go ahead, go ahead. No, no, please, okay. please carry on. Please carry on with your submission, bro. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, so <laughs> as I was, I don't know if I have to repeat myself from where I started, but I'm just gonna go further. Uh, no, carry, okay. carry, carry on. Um, I, well, I'm, I'm keeping track. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So the problem we have there is uh it's not because uh south africans are hostile or they have this xeno attitude towards the foreigners because as as a host you cannot go to people's houses as visitors and now want to tell them how to run their homes if you feel like their homes you are not you are, it's not conducive enough for you the same door you, you you came in through you can actually go back through the same door they're not gonna hold you down so my point now is the south africa that we have now today we are not supposed to be blaming south africa for the way we are being treated i'm not a sellout but i'm gonna say south africa the problem we have in south africa is from us for example let me let me mention the home affairs system right back then let me say 10 15 years ago everything was still fine now i'm going to reveal this as a nigerian if you have to to apply for any document now okay let's say you go via the agent or you go via the counter there's something that they do which they call pushing right if maybe all your all your all your requirements you you, you put down all the requirements according to to whatever they, they they asked you to bring you still have to pay some amount like some ridiculous amounts like talking about like 20k upwards so that your paper can come out way of which it was never like that the reason being that which i know very valid information is still our brothers that is corrupting the system right because they know that okay maybe some some brothers from some people from here like brothers and stuff from here they're vulnerable like this is money this is business they go there they offer them money they say okay do this like this do this like this if people come the moment to see a nigerian passport do not approve it they have to come through us as agents before the, before we come to you so we're gonna pay you a particular amount of money for this particular paper to be approved so if they don't pay that money home affairs will give you some reasons for your papers to be rejected right so that is that the same thing goes to saps mm -hmm. yeah the same thing goes to SAP. so now if you see if you see okay you know like we drive all the time we we see the metro corps and all that 
sometimes if you if you go through somebody that is working you know according to the book they can only let you go according to their discretion if you if you, if you violate any, any any traffic law any traffic rules mm. but in some cases they don't even know what you have in your car they mm -hmm. don't even know what you are traveling with yeah you might not even have a valid license the moment the moment they say okay what do you have you give them what you have and then you go free in that area mm. we cannot we cannot say the fault is 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 foreigners but because at some point the foreigners have shown them real cash mm -hmm. right so they feel like oh the moment they see a mercedes benz the moment they see these are big cars uh, these are our brothers we there's there's money to, there's money to do they give them money they go so right if yeah if 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 we didn't come here with all our shady businesses south african system will not be corrupted and i'm not blaming us for the corruption of the system because the problem now as 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 i was watching that one guy to say uh, sorry, I think, uh, sorry so sorry sorry just a, a quick one more day so when you say you are, you are not blaming us for the corruption system when you say us do you mean south africans or do you mean us as in nigerians because no, you've no, been no, using no. those words uh, no, okay, very let, let, uh, okay, let, let me make it clear if 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 i give a cop something to say okay please let me go and then the cop takes it we are both criminals right so that's what i'm saying in that regard i'm not blaming us because uh, some some cops you can actually offer them a bribe they can turn it down and still arrest you so now now you have two offenses of whatever you the, whatever they stop you for and for offering bribe those are two offenses but now if you if you if if they if they if they if they accept the bribe so meaning there are two criminals in the in the picture mm -hmm. yeah so now okay just uh, uh, just, from a, from a, just a just a quick one to borrow yes. from my from a friend to borrow from a friend of mine just a quick one yes. um i just want to know so mr wale you are you said you're in south africa you're in joburg yes yes what do you do for a living okay i'm an electronic security expert and i'm i do <clears throat> networking and stuff and my okay, I have uh, yeah so do you do it as a business or as a as a job i was working for some companies in back years so now i have my own business now okay okay so when you came in you came in as an employee and then you opened your own business yes so when you came in as an employee, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it that that is the visa that you came into the country through, yes? No. Okay, I, under I what came, visa did you I, come I, into I, the country? I came in as a visitor, right? Okay. So when I got here, before my before my my uh, visa got expired, I applied mm -hmm. for students. That was 2011, 2012, thereabouts. I applied for a student visa. Say again? For a, stu for a student visa study visa okay so you came in to study then yeah i came in to study where did you study no i know I, I haven't finished I, I i applied and then it was rejected wait uh, gonna, gonna, he said he has a business i carry h while no 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 We'll come to the business later, Dot. Don't yes. worry. Okay. We're, yeah. we're, we're okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, my brother, I need a job. I need a job, my brother. That's all. Uh, yes. No, I can't so, afford so my boss. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. I totally yeah. understand where you are, Wale. Uh, we, are, we are journeying very nicely. We are cooking. So yeah, my definitely. question is, um, you, said you, you said you came in through a student visa, right? No, no. And you I came applied. in as a visitor. You as came in visitor. as a visitor and then you applied yes. for a student visa. Yes. Okay. That so was rejected. When you, uh, so fantastic so when you applied for a student visa had you already applied at an institution okay this is how it goes okay okay you know you know, you know i will use agents right okay so the agent